Oh, finally you leave, dumbass. Um, what? Uh, when I got here uh, to the truck stop, I saw two parking spots, but right across from them, there was a bunch of trucks that were uh, parked that would affect my setup to back into the spot. Mm. So I was and then I saw another spot that was two spots away where they wouldn't be affecting me. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go to that way. And so I almost missed my chance to get into this spot that I'm in. Because as soon as I got over to where I could see into that spot, there's a little fucking pickup truck tucked in there nice and, um, you know, nice and secretly in between the two trucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And then I watched the next guy do the same. Legs. <laughs> I watched the next guy do the same legs. thing. Sorry, we Matt. Don't break legs say, here. Did you say something reasonable? Uh, no, we don't get break legs and get caught. You don't. We we don't break that's legs. That's not what you said. You, that's not what you said. You said don't break legs. Don't be a fucking narc. Listen, you're talking about it in a recorded server. I'm just saying, don't break uh, legs. The server is not recorded. The call is idiot. Fine. Oh my god. Ian doesn't believe in the NSA. <laughs> what a goober. Look. Look. I'd kill the president of the United States. No. Oh my God. In a video game. In a video game. In a video Minecraft. game. In Minecraft. That's yeah. not. A, that's not a legitimate argument anymore. That went to the Supreme Court and was uh, like tossed down. He said would, not will. To be fair. Yeah. That's too shy. I yeah. I didn't say that I was going to kill the president of the United States in two weeks from now. Oh. Stop. Did you watch the whitest kids you know sketch or something? No, it's actually I'm just illegal to this. say. It's actually illegal to say. I will. It's this guy who just he goes on this long explanation. Of, it's actually you can't say, and then just keep saying it. You know when that uh, actor died. You know uh, what's what, is it? Is it Shinto Abe? The, yeah. The yeah the Japanese prime minister. Yeah. Well, he was. Yeah, he was certainly until he got fucking died. He got unalived in Minecraft. But in Wait, fuck, honest? No. Have you Shinzo well, Abe? Life, that's his name. No. Yeah. yeah. There was a Japanese prime minister Shinzo Abe who got got by a, like a really janky electrified gun. Yeah. Because guns are illegal in Japan, so they uh, they yeah, made do. Look, look at this shit. Hey, hey, <laughs> Japanese girls make do. Am I right, fellas? Oh, my no. God. Yeah, that's that's no. that's that's the, that's the gun, by the way. Holy crap. Yeah. So it's just like a wild taser. Well, it, it's still fired. Yeah, I mean, it worked. Interesting. At least once. That's yeah, it, it, it did what it... Need. Yeah, here's the guy getting uh, getting got by the... You guys know that in Japan they can uh, torture you for confessions? Oh, yeah, they typically do it to foreigners, too. Like, yeah, and did you... Yeah, did you also know that... Uh, like, there's no laws against, like, police brutality or anything like that? Mm-hmm. So they can torture you for days until you yeah. find your next way. Yeah, and also, uh, you can get sued for exposing someone's fucked up things. Like, uh, if you're like, hey, the lead of the company, uh, like, sexually assaulted 30 co-workers, uh, the guy can sue you for harassing his honor. Mm-hmm. The funniest part is also they can say you're going after a family because the whole corporate adoption thing mm-hmm. that they have going. Yeah. That weird racket. Mm-hmm. Isn't that super cool? Uh, it's I saw delightful. someone describe uh, Japan as the white man's Wakanda. Uh, and oh I never god. fully recovered from seeing that. That's oh my god. It adds to the list of reasons to never leave Texas. <laughs> That's so unfortunately somewhat accurate. Well they also described Barbie as as damn Wakanda forever for white people. I feel like that's I mean, not true. There's no racial undertones in Barbie, though. They're honestly the worst part of Barbie is that people root for the wrong person. I mean, I think like, Barbie end, doesn't well, matter. Yeah, well, the movie's not, the movie is technically about Ken, but Ken has a hero's journey. Yeah, Barbie's a side character. True, as it should be. Okay. Ken grew and changed. Ken grew and changed. She's just Barbie. Anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's noon in Carmouth. You're you're back. 
the world's most normal town, uh, day 399. You left time day 29 of 1379, so there are 30 days until time is normal. We left off after you guys executed and then looted some Tiamat cultists. But it's like noon, so what do you guys do? Do you just like eat lunch or what? Mm. I'm yeah, gonna try and, uh... Let's go have a normal lunch. That's pretty fucked up. What, are you gonna eat lunch? Uh, sorry, I fucking can't. I'm just gonna laugh at Bastion. I'm gonna just try and uh, send... Uh, I'd like to brutally murder Pale. Okay. No, 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 no roll, it just happens. (laughs) -uh. Uh, Nuh-uh. What do you mean, -uh. (laughs) nuh-uh? I'm gonna try and do ascending to, uh, Ildor. Just be like... Like, if I try this again, you will come after me, right? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I am watching. It's. <laughs> Can you like at least not watch when I'm in the bathroom? Silence. Oh my god, Eldor! Look, the best way to get back at him just keep jacking off. Oh my god! <laughs> I've been trying that. He keeps watching. Oh my god! Damn, Bailey, you made Eldor ever. Uh, oh. Il- Eldor Alvo. Al- <laughs> Ildoris Alvarez, a freak. The only, there's a reason uh, his only friends are uh, robots. Well, I'm just kidding. He doesn't actually. Shoddy bad. <laughs> Shoddy must be from Dirty Docks. That's this what I'm why saying! That's why I don't close my curtains until there's somebody parked next to me. Mm. You what? suck. This dude's about to hit my damn mirror. Oh my oh. god. That's not good. I think that's even bad. Need to get out in road rage. Yeah, put us on speaker. We'll we'll, we'll call his ass out. Mm-hmm. We'll hype. We'll, 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 we'll hype you up as you're beating that guy's ass. Oh, it's a lady. Oh, we'll, we'll hype you up as we're, yeah. We'll hype you up as you're beating her ass. Equal rights, <laughs> equal fights. I was yeah. literally about to say, like, get the fuck out of my skull. <laughs> she oh. she got in there with her tiny trailer. Mm. Got a twenty footer. Mm. Yellows. Just a little guy. <laughs> a little okay. guy. Do you message your door? Just a little children? guy. Uh, I think uh, I watched my kids play. Yeah. Aww. I'm eat- wholesome. I'm eating. Okay, you eat a very normal lunch. They're having is like the, really good. Is the like, food here real? Yeah. Somehow terrifying. I'm just gonna keep trying to pester them, like, guys, stop, please. I know you're all self aware. And make a persuasion check? Come on. <laughs> Nine. It, they're like, what do you mean? Out of a bit. <laughs> all right, whatever. Okay. In, in watching your kids play, Bastion, uh-huh. um, you, you notice that uh, Jade and Pale Jr. are setting up like little cactuses in um, Mm -hmm. uh, suggestive ways, Um, you know, barrel cactus and then like a saguaro and they're uh, replanting them, like not like breaking the plants, but uh, you know, just replanting them to where in a month or two it's it's gonna be uh, a little giggle. And you're not sure Pale Jr. knows what they're doing, but uh, Jade insists that this is gonna be hilarious and uh, Pale Jr.'s hands can't get stickers in them, so... um, Bastion then, know why it's funny? Huh? Does Bastion understand why it would be funny? I think... <laughs> actually, I... Make a... I don't... I, okay, so here's the thing, right? Uh-huh. Bastion, hypothetically, was given all of the knowledge that Gond had when he made the universe. But Gond didn't make people. I would say that being around Pale and Carolina and Jade enough, they, they would have... You know, somebody would have drawn a dick on something and you would have gotten the hint. Yeah, but like, I'm naked all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you've like never What's seen anything. Huh? Yeah, oh, I, 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 like, I, I think that there's like, I, like I'm like i just not coming to the realization. Like, I don't think Bastion understands what modesty is. Like, yeah. I think Bastion's just like, what the, like, what? Yeah, y'all got that. I mean, congrats. Yeah. Wow, it's... jealous, I guess. Not. We can make one for you. No, we're not. We're not. We've been over this. This was literally one of the first conversations we had. We're not giving. We're not giving him a robocock. That's not happening. I draw. I draw one on him. But it's it's retractable. I scrub it off. 
I, I do it stealthily. Uh, make a stealth I have, check. I have alert. I think. Oh, you have yeah. alert. Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, no, that no, just means I, you can't no, be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have helm of awareness, which I think. Uh, what, is, yeah. what does that make your perception? Uh, I think it gives me. I have advantage on initiative, and I can't be surprised, provided I'm not incapacitated. Surprised doesn't mean yeah. I can't sneak up on you. I got a plus four in perception. Uh, All right. Carolina, go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, I'd say Bastion, make a perception check with advantage. <laughs> Excellent. Eh? I've been thinking about trying to learn Spanish. Uh, I went it's, on a it's big super helpful. Yeah, well, I went on a big spree today. I live in Texas, so like, if I'm going to find people to speak it, this is kind of one of the best places. Uh, mm. that, you should say we. We. Uh, you said at advantage? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm presuming if it's just your if your armor is your skin, you can feel. The oh, marker. that's gonna be a twenty-one. Okay, what'd you get for stealth? Twenty-three. Okay. Uh, Damn, that's you have a plus twelve. What the fuck? Yes. Can I? I'm technically aware that I'm making this roll. Am I not? Uh, no. It's you, Flash of you Genius don't. doesn't say I have to okay. be aware of it. I'm adding plus five to this room. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I'm just, honestly, this would be your passive perception. <laughs> I'm just saying because it's on his skin, he could feel the marker. You know? He's not actively looking for me to do something. That is true. You know what? Mm. Sure, you can draw a dick on Bastion. I won't, <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I won't press it. Graffiti, one of your best friends. Yeah. And we could see... Uh, yeah, roll a d20 to see how long it takes you to notice. <laughs> you act like that's something people don't do at a party. I don't I go to never. parties. I would just put, like, pizza uh, on the That's a nine, piece. by the way. Yeah, you're not going to yeah. notice until, like, later tonight. <laughs> so, the per so the person that falls asleep first at a party, yeah, you're, you're getting the dick on your forehead. He never just falls asleep. I, yeah, I don't sleep, and also, I don't go to parties. Which means I have to catch Bastion while he's awake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is every all the time. Yeah. It's the best thing to wear a striped sweater. Oh my god. <sighs> but uh Yagami's working on King Henry parts and uh Folium and Seamus are telling old man stories, you know, like they do. Or probably just sitting in silence, because that's also what old men do. Yeah. Go on. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Nokia, however, after or probably Yagami's working on Kimmer's wheelchair and telling, teaching him how to use it, Nokia walks over to you, Bastion, and I guess if you're like sitting on a porch or something, they sit next to you and in their deep ass voice, they ask you Bastion, I feel weird. There's nothing wrong unless one of my diagnostic sensors is out. Because maybe it burned out panicking about the others being gone when they had disappearing disease, but I think there's a glitch in my memory logs to do with Kimmer, because whenever I think or look at him, I feel like I'm overheating, even when I'm not, and whenever I talk to him, my speech processor starts lagging, and my, near, my knee gears seize up, and it's very unsettling. I run a diagnostic on my son. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, some, med some medicine check or a tinker's kid check? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, huh. Yeah, go ahead and run your, your tinker's kit one. Hit him with the wrench of fixing. Uh, fuck. I gotta remember how the fuck to make a tinker's. I think it's that. Careful. Slide of hand. Although I think, uh, artificial. It's specific bonuses. Yeah. Probably like just your intelligence plus proficiency or something. Yeah, I have expertise. Yeah. Because of tool expertise. So, yeah. E20 plus. That's for one. Yikes. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, you can't find anything wrong with Nokia. And mm -hmm. Nokia, like, almost elaborates. It's like. It's like fear. But a fear that he'll leave. But then he's totally safe and right there. It's just weird. Interesting. I was unable to find anything wrong with you. 
Oh no. Okay then. Maybe Pale might be able to help. Pale? Yes. Okay. And I will you, <laughs> Pale. Crunch, 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 crunch. Um, what are you doing right now? Take care of my son. <laughs> oh, uh, I was just trying to, you know, see how many cakes this can make. I was trying to get hyper specific with mm-hmm. those. Uh, ends up rice cakes aren't technically cakes. What? What's up? Oh, I feel weird. And Bastion told me to ask you. Could weird how? They tell you almost what? the exact same thing. Of um, that they. It's it's Kimmer specifically. Of oh, uh, that, that's the kid, right? <laughs> yeah, the half orc oh, kid who's um, a sharpshooter. Well. I, I have some news that might be surprising. You're feeling. You care about him. But I care about everyone else, too. Th- this is more, you feel protective. Mm-hmm. It's like, it, it's the way Bastion feels about you. Or the way my dad feels about me, I think. Mm-hmm. Or it's the way Carolina feels about Jade, but I think you're too young to have that feeling. I didn't hear my name. Hmm. No, you did not. I continue to drain things with mustard on the question. <laughs> I think Nokia would go. What are you doing to him? <laughs> nothing. You didn't see anything. He's doing nothing. You could now notice anyway. the expo marker in Carolina's hand. <laughs> I think Carolina is drawing graffiti again. Never happened. I wave my hands like I'm a Jedi. Okay. What are you doing with your hands? Exactly. Carry on. Jade would walk over, defacing public property? What are we doing? And they pull out eight more Sharpies. No, 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 none of that. No. Mm. Hail disapproves. Are you so fr- I still worshipped here for years. And Jade pretends she's whispering and goes, if Pale disapproves, that means we definitely have to do it. Right. Yes. <laughs> and by Pale throwing out the I used to worship here for years, I hand him a Sharpie. I just grab it and put it in my pocket. Uh-uh. Dare That's you. the wrong place. That's the wrong place. <laughs> Come on, Rebel. You'll, you'll see later. Oh, see. Come on, come on, Rebel. And I draw on something. Another... Yes, another dick on the wall. Okay. <laughs> the townsfolk, who are totally normal, don't notice. You mother... F- <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You know what? I don't even care. I don't know who made you all. I don't even care anymore. Whatever. While he's having the fatherly talk with uh, Kimmer, I'm, I want to see what else is in all this, these boxes. I think we went through it last time. I believe so. I don't remember everything, but you guys thoroughly looted whatever. Um, I mean, there could be small shit like just their traveling canteens or whatever. Um, okay. I don't know how interested you are in all of that, but... Mm. I'm not. I got more beers and bits. I'm going to make sure the, uh, the the horses are fed and ready to move all this massive stuff. Okay. Mm. But then Nokia would walk back over to you, Bastion, and then sit down and then pensively stare at the others. Which they don't blink, so it's just kind of, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. But anyway, it's it's getting dark. You guys do anything? I guess we'll camp out, make a plan for. Uh, we're still going over to see uh, the little cowboy, right? Uh huh. Well, it's I guess we'll champion sleep in a pan. But he is a yeah. cow. Yeah, the cowboy. Uh huh. That's kind of funny. That's a good character idea. Is a minotaur who's a cowboy. I like that. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> when he but, walks uh, up, all you hear is "kid rock." Uh huh. Uh huh. Please no. <laughs> That's their battle music. 
thinks. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, we can wind walk there tomorrow and we'll we'll go from there. And Folian would say that. I cannot yeah. believe that you've had the ability to wind walk and we haven't been doing that the whole time. I'm just gonna pull him in real close and just say, yeah, it's because it hasn't been. I'm gonna like kind of jazz hands on my hands from funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably very taxing for Pale. Oh, I have a necklace. It uh, It's not even me really casting. I just have to activate it. I'm trying to give you an excuse. I do not deserve one. William slowly bank blinks into the middle distance. <laughs> 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 like, you guys I, ever seen Rugger and Rugger Rabbit? Yes. I'm surprised you have. <laughs> See? I look at Folium and I'm like, are you honestly surprised by this? No. You raised, you raised Fail, right? Y- yeah. 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 I think, yeah. You're <laughs> embarrassing me for being silly. <laughs> All right, cool. It's night. Uh, you guys are easily able to stay in the tavern. Uh, they would charge you, like, three silver for rooms, or you could just, like, sleep in the bar area. It doesn't matter. Everyone's totally normal about oh, it and totally polite. They've even already we- buried the bodies for you, the... the um, Team at Cultists you executed, and thanks for saving the town. They went ahead and did that. Um, because they were just like, Oh, they were cultists, so that's crazy. I mean, thanks for saving us, I guess. Too. What a normal burial, yeah, yeah, just a good, a good six feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody said some words, and there's some holy water, holy water, yeah. It was kind of just like, All right, um. Well, I guess you wanted to go to Tiamat, so good luck with that. That's, you know. Oh, well. Yeah, my Trinitaya have mercy on your souls. Or whoever else. The gods in general. Uh, uh, but it half is them are bastards anyway. Yeah, according to King Henry, yes. And according to Pale. Uh, but... So it's, uh, what time does everyone wake up in the morning? I, I wake up bright and early. First yeah, light. me too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, okay. you practically robot elf. I don't wake up because I don't go to bed. Okay, so if you were to look out a window or stand outside, you know, because stuff is, is happening, you could pensively stand eastward looking at the stone garden mountain as you can see it from where you are on the edwards plateau about 30 minutes after dawn it is as though there is an eclipse the wildlife goes silent the wind almost stops people on the street in this totally normal town stop in their tracks as something not normal happens the beam is always in the sky usually near east if you're on macadia but a second beam of light appears in the sky from the top of Stone Garden Mountain. This ray of sunlight is red tinted as it pierces out of the what is soon to be shattered rose cap. A ray of light all the way to heaven that blinds you and overclocks your, your photo sensors from nearly 300 miles away. And as you look, you feel you may even be able to feel the heat or hear an explosion, though that may be just placebo. Shadows twin around you as this light is so bright in addition to the sun. And then a split second later, the sunbeam is cut out, barely visible to your stinging eyes, with a ray of just black. A void. And then there is nothing. It's just the dawn sun, the normal beam, and the light spots in your vision when you blink. And pale in particular, you feel a plainly supernatural, soul-deep wave of ice in your heart. And it feels as though you've been dropped into a freezing rain. But from roughly 300 miles away, that is all you know about the revolution and the deaths of two champions. And eventually birds start singing again and the totally normal townsfolk return to their business. Uh, I, moment of silence. I'm immediately just going to uh, do a quick sending to Ash and just say... I'm so sorry. Eldor wouldn't let me help you. Make a persuasion check. 
Uh, uh-oh. Uh, Twelve. Okay. The, 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 the man's going through a lot in this 30 seconds since things have happened, and you mostly just hear him go, What the fuck? Uh, uh, or let me do this in a British accent. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's still not a British accent, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you get the idea of a uh, strong letter to follow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. just a little bit of uh, rage, terror, grief. Uh, all well deserved. Uh huh. This is not all of you. Mm. It's a he's fair trying. Amount. He's trying to not die at this very second. Fair just enough. scooped the communion blade out of the uh, ashes that were left of Stephen, and then like ran into a tunnel to try and go fight uh, mages and stuff. Yeah, ashes. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, he might get back to you we later all as he's not about to die. Um, oh well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not going to be happy when he sees me next. Because he'll no. be a tree. Yeah. <laughs> you managed to piss off all of your friends. <laughs> yep. Listen, Pale's good at one thing, and it's being bad at everything. But it's his lovable personality that keeps everyone from murdering him. Mm-hmm. At least for now. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's with that negative charisma. You're uh, so dorky that people feel bad about killing you. It's like, oh, God, and, he's too weird to live, and, too awkward to die. And the company he keeps... And the company, yeah, you guys are a, a starch deterrent uh, against people murdering uh, Pale, in addition to your own power. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but then what do you guys do? <laughs> so what, is, what does this mean now? Uh, we were supposed to be there. I was, we, we wanted to, you know, we wanted to turn it back. And now everything happened correctly. Uh, except well, that uh, Gilbert isn't going to be mind violated for months on end. Oh, yeah. He's not as badly. That's true. Doesn't that change a lot, though? Because it means Leo's not going to have a fucked up dad anymore. I mean, his dad's still a gang lord who was captured and probably physically tortured, just not mentally, so he'll know what's real or not. That's yeah, he can, handle phys- he can handle the physical torture, though. I mean, I mean yeah, look at his ex. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's Ash. No, uh, the Gilbert's ex is a uh, gang leader, and he also had a uh, a male friend who was obsessively insane about him to the point where he tried to kill Leo. No. Yeah, you guys yeah. still got to tell me more about that one. Clinton was With a lot. Uh, so yeah, I guess now we just go to uh, the cow, the cow man, the Minotaur. Get his pan flute. Yeah. Is everyone ready to leave the normal town? I'm still angry about them, but there's, I realize this point there's nothing more I can do. They all think that they're self-aware or that they're real. <laughs> I, I, give up. I, go, I go into the cash register and get our coins that we paid for the rooms. <laughs> uh, make an intimidation check. Oh, God. Can oh, I do with, a a, uh, D4, with a D4. You could also try to sense. sneak behind the counter. Yeah, go ahead and make a, a slide of hand check, I guess. And again, add a d4. Okay. Uh, with a d4... 25. Yeah, they absolutely do not notice as you rifle through the uh, cash register. All for your, you know, five silver or whatever. And that's <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> How much more is in there? <laughs> oh, uh, probably like whatever the uh, dragon cultists paid. So like another two gold worth. I'll take that two gold too. Okay. Do you guys do anything with the dragon cultists horses? Because I do not believe you can wind walk with them. I cannot. Um, yeah, but it is only a... Or you would spend one night camping without wind walking. But I don't know if you want to take that time. You could just leave the horses here, or like sell them to someone in town. Is, is their money real? It's a great question. I th- thank you. I'll take I guess we'll see. Probably not. I guess we'll see when I walk out of here with this crap. <laughs> 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 but uh, yes, yeah, so I guess we'll uh, we'll 
give the horses to we, someone else. We've got all the mithril and everything packed up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could sell all the horses. For Actually, like I th I think. And gold eat. Oh, go ahead. For the for the night, I think I just spend time working on uh, making bodies because the mithril was the big limiting factor, wasn't it? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, I think I just would have done that. Okay. Well, Yagami works on the parts for uh, King Henry. Cool. Or we could always win, walk back over here and come get them. Oh, the horses? Yeah, you could leave them here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you saw them, they're like 10 gold each. I think there's two of them. But, otherwise, if you want to win, walk, Pale, you would touch your necklace and cast the spell again as you all turn into clouds. And as you fly over the, uh, the sky, you and all the NPCs... Um, which is very weird to see Kimber flying in a wheelchair, but, you know, it's... It'd, it'd be normal. weirder if he had a cane. It'd be weirder if he had a cane. What, to Mary Poppins it? No, oh, wind walk with a cane? I don't understand. I don't, I don't think you really need a cane if you're flying. No, oh, well... It looks pretty funny. Uh, but everyone make me a perception check with disadvantage, and I'll roll for... Uh... Perception with disadvantage. <laughs> 10. 17. I guess that's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So I got a 4 and... Oh, come on. Ah, that's a 6. Hey, okay. let's go. So, Kimmer, who has a 19, is looking out of his scope as you guys are flying over. He's, I think so sees a town down there, but there ain't supposed to be one. And he would yeah. probably... I guess you Would can I see it? You. Yeah. yeah. There isn't a. If you if you look down at the Carmouth you've left, the normal town, you look down and there is an exact copy, like a mile to the left of the road. Hmm. What? Uh, with a twenty-four passive, would I see anything more? Uh, just that there appears to be two identical towns, and then one of them is a little bit off the road. The From... one that was normal was on the road. Oh. That's to keep people out of the real town. Sneaky, sneaky. Genius. It's to keep sketchy people out. As they deployed the fake town because the dragon cultists were there, and they would have dropped the act except for Pales and Merculean and kept being fucking sketchy, so... There you go. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys don't have to stop there, but you can go all the way to Rock Springs. Um, does anyone say anything cool while you're flying? I sure don't. I don't know how to be cool. Mm. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Oh my God. Oh God. Okay, other guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you land like just straight up in the city square or like kind of outside town so you can walk in? Outside Superhero town. Land. Superhero landing in the middle. Okay, mixed, mixed decision. <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying on the outside. I'm sitting on the outside town walking in. I look sketchy. I give off sketchy vibes. If I show up in the middle of town, it's gonna be bad. On site. It's, the NPCs <laughs> agree. What about you, Bastion? <laughs> I don't know why people think that we look sketchy. We're just a sketchy. tall, well-armored man. A Mercurian cultist who is on fire constantly, uh, wearing heavy armor. Uh, and then a woman carrying two swords and a big axe that her shadow clone is carrying, followed by a gaggle of another person who, instead of being on fire, is made out of water, uh, a child in a wheelchair, and mm -hmm. three massive, well-armored people, one built like a horse. Fine. You know what, Pale? You, get, you draw a lot of attention. Guess what? I'm going to make myself look like you're 20. So you don't take the, the whole branch of it. That'll only make it weirder. <laughs> you look normal as yourself. I, I don't think I look normal. I think I look like a hot chick. But okay. That I I don't know how to respond to that. Anyway. Uh, it, it, yeah. It's uh, coming into Rock Springs. It is like most small towns. Though it's the largest you've passed since you left Golgree. About 7,000 people. Those people are easily surpassed by the numbers of cows and sheep and goats and horses. There are actually a fair amount of dwarves here because you have passed by the coast, by the green, the brown, the dust, and now you're up here where all that's left is rock. 
it is dry, hot, you pass a donkey that pays no mind to you as it full-on takes a whole bite out of a cactus, adding to the needles on its face, the entire town's made of stone, uh, and there are a few streets, it's not a one-street town, there's like three. Damn. It is so hot, uh, but there are, everyone's mostly hiding from the sun or they're in the mines, assumably. But the two folks you do see outside of the building that is plainly a sheriff station is the sheriff itself, and then a ranger kind of woman, and they were arguing about something, but as soon as you enter town, they stand closer together, and are much more worried about you. Uh, you fucking weirdos. But... <laughs> Why are you so mean to us? We're just little, <laughs> we're just little guys. Uh-huh. I'm just like, yep. That's the Hills on fire, I can't be stopped by normal mortal means. <laughs> Her yeah, I'd say it's still thirty dudes in one turn. <laughs> we're just we're just innocent men and women. It's I'd say it's like like the afternoon now, like two p.m. Yeah, I I missed on my uh, uh, my disguise. I turned into a tiefling. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, as they look at <laughs> four robots, two Genzai, two well armored human women, who one of whom is now a tiefling, a devil person, an elderly gnome, and a half-orc child. Whatever they were arguing about uh, is no longer significant, but they kind of just stare at you from across the street. Well, And a tumbleweed hi. goes by. We're uh, looking for the, the, the champion of Pan. Uh, the, the sheriff talks, and he's like, that's, uh, he is round here. That's, uh, um, I don't know where. He usually comes into town at night. It's up to you, though, if you want to wait around to actually go look for him. I don't keep the man on a leash. I I don't that question the fertility of others. In person. Well, maybe it's a, it would be a sort of thing where they just... Bastion, we have to... Don't mind, we'll explain some things to you later. Some people enjoy it. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Nothing. Folium goes, how do you know about that? We're changing topics immediately. <laughs> I taught you better than that, boy. No. Yes, and Erica taught me better. Mmm. Jade looks doubtful. So, so, do you guys have like uh, what, what do people do for fun in this town while we wait for uh, Mr. Champion Man? Frank. They look around, and they're like, "There's, I mean, rodeos this weekend, I guess." <laughs> It's a rodeo. What do you need him for, anyway? I assume it's some magic thing. It's a magic thing. Mm. Uh, I I have to go deal with some umberly nonsense. He can help. Umberly nonsense? Umberly nonsense. I mean, look at him. He's soaked. <laughs> uh, the Just ranger woman giggles, okay. but uh, mm, yeah. The moistest man I've ever seen. Volume slaps your shoulder. Yep. <laughs> he says, well, I don't know what Umberly's got going on, but between the, uh, well, the Umberlean's up here praying for rain, and the Pelorian's praying for, uh, less sun, or, uh, and the Tunitaean's praying for rain, and the Pan folks praying for rain, I think all the gods thought, uh, one of them would do it, and then they've forgotten, and then, uh, once they do remember... They'll remember at the same time and fight over it, and that's how you get tornadoes and thunderstorms. But if you've got something to do with the gods, please tell them to make it rain. I, anyway. You know, I'll do my best. I appreciate that. So where does he usually come into town to? No, we're on the east side. He's worried about them dust storms. It's dry as hell up here, but there's no dust to blow, and if it... Ain't well, the I mean, first dust, and it's not the last dust, and it's been hotter, and it'll get colder, and... Feller's saying it's getting hotter than it's supposed to, but this ain't the first summer without rain, so... I ain't worried about it, but I will not complain if he can make it cooler. But uh, I don't like that he's blaming us, you know? I don't know how heifers can affect the weather. So we dig them wells deep, and they have gone dry before, but they will fill up again, and... Well, I mean, like I said... I'm sorry. Yeah. Keep cutting you off. <laughs> oh, you're good. So I don't mind if he can make it rain, but this is the desert, and 
I think he's used to saving folks. And while droughts can be a crisis, and it is this year, I don't think he'd, uh, we didn't ask, and we won't be giving him a key to the city. But he is down the hill a little ways. Um, I don't know where down the hill, but again, down the hill. Any points? West. Oh, well, yes, I think we should go that way. <laughs> Unless y'all want to wait. I mean, what, what do you guys want to do? I'm chasing a tumbleweed. We could fly around town looking for him. Yeah, I mean, we can also get to know the locals. Make some friends. They do bull riding around here? They sure do. Jade, I think you I think you do well with that. Make a make a persuasion check. Or the plus four. <laughs> D four or plus four? D four. Might be. Twenty five. Jade wraps her arm around you and goes, Oh yeah, I love writing things. Um I will have to pause for a moment. But as soon as your truck is psychic is nearby, they should just be screaming. Mm-hmm. 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 Kill, 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 kill. Kill murder, kill, kill murder, kill. This is the Doom soundtrack. Yes, anyway. Oh, sorry. It's, it keep me, I keep cutting you guys off and I feel bad about it. Uh, yeah, let me finish the Doom soundtrack in the middle of your <laughs> d session. Oh, there's seven more hours to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just me but, making the same noise. <laughs> I w- uh, but these guys, this, this town, um, uh, 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 from what the sheriff has told you, Duali Flynn is trying to fix climate change, and uh, these these townsfolk aren't convinced, <laughs> but they're going to let him do whatever. They aren't going to stop him, but they don't know what he's freaking out about either. So. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go wander around on foot to try and look for him. Okay. How about you, Bastion? Wait, what is Pale doing again? I'm wondering on a foot to look for him. Really? I forgot. He does or does not like us. I, rem- I vaguely remember there being some mention about him hating us. He has no idea who you are. What, NPC, what NPC if Pan hated us? Uh, that was like a well, uh, random druid we met. It's, was he? I, it's not that Diwali Flint hates you because he doesn't know who you are, but you're trying uh-huh. to take one of the most holy artifacts in his whole religion when he's never met you before and he's not just gonna give it to you you know because that's uh, what this guy's yeah you guys are I'm, weird <laughs> first off <laughs> uh yeah i mean i'm gonna cast fly and just fucking book it up in the air and look for him just superman okay. that shit make a perception check i feel like a minotaur is not gonna be hard to find in a crowd of normal people. Uh, 15. I'll, I'll go ahead and fucking uh, divine inspiration that shit. Or a uh, flash of genius. Yeah, but oh, you, 20. you turn into a giant fucking missile of yeah, steel. Yeah, Transformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the trees around here are short, you know, because it's dry as fuck. And I, I'll say he's wearing, like, yellow pants or something, so he's easy to see among the gray limestone. But do you point everyone else in the direction? Do you just take pale? Do you leave all the NPCs here? I think the moment I find him, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go like sweet pale up <laughs> in your big strong robot arms. Yeah. Yeah, just not slowing down. Just like like uh, <laughs> just like fucking football tackling him. Oh my god! Are they carrying oh. him back up? Wee. Um. Uh, why? I found the guy. You found how? I'm flying. Oh. Whoa, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around as you realize. Uh, uh, you caught up in being tackled. I didn't realize I'm flying. If you see this 11 foot tall Minotaur man, he's it, he's got like survey equipment. And you can see him taking, like, soil samples or some shit while farmers are, like, fixing a fence nearby. He's just in somebody's field. 
and he asks nicely to go to, like, take dirt samples, and they're letting him. Uh, you see around him are, like, some sort of what you thought were plants at first, but you realize they're desert dryads, like a cactus person, and then a cedar tree person, and someone who's just kind of an amalgamation of rocks. And they're hanging out, kind of just watching his six. But he watches you guys descend from the fucking sky. And let's just say Caroline is there too. I think I heard Darian rejoin the call. Mm -hmm. Superhero landing. Yeah, perfect. I'm just gonna be like, hey, hi. And he's not as weirded out because, you know, he's a champion. He's doing weird shit too. Yeah, he goes, uh, hello? So hello. I, um, we, we, you're coming on behalf of several gods. We need your help with something. Make a persuasion check. Oh, man. Advantage. I'm giving a pale a thumbs up behind, uh, okay. I'm giving, or I'm giving a thumbs up behind pale. Uh-huh. Is it actually I still, advantage? I still look like a devil person, so it's... You're not the weirdest one in the group. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'd say if with with Carolina and Bastion like giving supportive glances uh, behind you, you'd have advantage, pal. So that's a nineteen. Okay. He's not gonna vibe check you to see what god you're speaking on behalf of. You can but... trust me. We're not nefarious. Yeah. And how long can everyone keep playing? Oh wait, it's well, only yeah, almost solid. eight. Yeah. Well, never mind. Yeah. I was about to say, it was like, are we cutting it an hour short? No, 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 no. It's uh, the sun still up. Is it? It is a little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> but uh, I just saw, like, 53 on my computer, and I was like, oh, oh wait, no, it's not. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Calm down, sun ninja. I was like, damn, that was fast. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. He says, well, how can I help? Make so, him a better voice. I'm gonna have him have like a southern draw, but like a better, not the hick one. Uh, get into. Get right. Sorry. Uh, okay, go ahead and ask him questions while I think of what I need to make yeah. him sound like. <laughs> so, um. Cue <laughs> him up. We, uh, we're trying to help my family get out of their pact with, um, Umberly. We need some help. Now, we were going to come in to ask you to borrow your flute, but if you want to come with us and help, with that, we're just as amenable. Uh, we just need a flute and or you to help with the Kraken. Very thick eyebrow raised. <laughs> he says, uh, I, uh, I'll be real with you. I am already uh, sort of on a delicate mission myself. And don't know you from Adam. So, while I am happy to help get some souls back from Umberly, though we aren't exactly enemies, it is a little cruel to just take any sailor. I'm not just going to give you a flute, and I can't leave. Is there any way we can help so that you can? Make another persuasion check with advantage. Yeehaw. Nat ones. Oh, Woo! oh. Wait, that's just the first one. Do I okay, know Adam? Okay, that's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> you know a man, no. You know a man named Adam. You were buried before the fierce humans were made. <laughs> Wait, Adam? Like, from the book? <laughs> <laughs> the, the book. That guy? Yeah. Oh, we go way back. It's Literally. From, oh my god. <laughs> um, he says, how you folks look capable, but I can't trust just anyone with this. I'm the son of God. That's also a thing. I offer my hand. He extends his hand, but doesn't touch his ear yet, ears yet, and he goes, the what now? The first son of God. I was the second thing he ever created. Hi, I'm Bastion. Can I just still out? Make a persuasion check with advantage. Fuck. God, you got me, right? Out of four. Huh? Out of God, four. You got Ooh, that's a 13 stiff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, I'm going to plus five that. 
I'm gonna plus five that before I know. Okay. How's it a thirteen with advantage? Because I have a minus two. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. I have a six charisma, just as a reminder to the to the to the crowd. So it's at eighteen now, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Friendship Friendship <laughs> bonus. Yeah, sure, and then <laughs> I pop up on his shoulder like, Ooh, what do you need? Robin Williams style. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's reluctantly sizing you guys crouched up. at the starting and... line. What? Reluctantly crouched at the starting uh-huh. line. Uh-huh. <laughs> he would size you guys up and see you're a little formidable. And then back away from the fence line, away from the civilians. And then uh, lean in like he's letting you in on a secret. I came for what I thought would be a outreach and education mission, but soon realized it was not improper farming techniques causing the dust storms, but the hearthstone stopping the little rain that comes this way. I mean, the farming methods haven't helped, but still. I haven't told the locals because I haven't wanted them to panic. And Pale, do you want to roll a history check to remember what a hearthstone is? I would love to. Bastion's nodding like he does know. Okay. His, that's, a plus, that's a 16. Nice. Uh, you know a hearthstone because they're from the plane of fire. Oh. It is basically, like, imagine a fallen star. It's the most raw element of fire that there is. It's what keeps the fire plane the fire plane. At close mm. range, it is one of the few things hot enough to melt, da- uh, melt magic items. It is said the next hottest thing on the material plane is the forges of Thunderscrum. People bring them to the material plane every now and then, mostly for Mithril forges. Do you want to make another history check? Just yeah, why not? Go crazy. Yeah, you should. At the uh, fourteen. Okay, you would have uh, putting together the pieces of Hearthstone, and then the just because you had a run in with Tiamat followers recently. There have been several times, uh, and because you're a Mapulian, and you know this, T-Map people have brought them to the Material Plane to try and outright manifest red and gold dragons. They think it's the source of a dragon's fire, like a spark of a hearthstone within them. And then once, a Mapulian band tried to evaporate the ocean with one, but no matter who has one or why it's at the Material Plane, it always turns into volcanoes and droughts, and the one that they threw into the ocean, the Mapulians, it, like... It's called the. It made a hole near Jorgweiser, which is called the Bore, B O R E, because it almost burned through the material plane before someone could get down there and, like, take it back. So you get the idea that this one hasn't been here long, but it needs to leave stat. <laughs> Banishment requires a creature. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think we have a box that takes us to the fire plane. Yeah, we do. Or I can just pick it up and banish myself with it. Uh, we don't use the box a whole lot, and also that doesn't... You'd very you likely die. Also, well, yeah, first you'd be picking up the box. First off, you'd be picking up the thing that melts magic items, which is... That breaks rules. So I don't want to fuck I, with that. Stacking off... It's fine. Banishing yourself doesn't guarantee you go to the material... The fire plane, because you're not from the fire plane. It makes it a different plane's problem. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Am I incorrect? What if we what remember that weird plane I went to where it was like King Henry's voice and taunt sleeping people? If I drop it there, maybe Wait, we the stop them all. Oh, that don't worry about it. Um when I was eaten and I banished myself, don't worry about it. Um I think I was inside the mall. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think I anyway, should. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it. Well, it's fine. So, we, yeah, I mean, if we can, use the box... Is there a way for us to drop it off? It's a Sakharov on the yeah, <laughs> Emperor's I mean, head. Only Make everything a lot easier. Uh, well, I mean, I, I can even bring out, like, a planar ally. I could bring out a little planetar, and then he can go bring it somewhere. He's just a little guy. Who would Got instantly be obliterated also. <laughs> Got a portable hole? Yeah. No, we don't have Leo with us. Mm. Mm. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Don't want to tell her I said that. Uh, but he knows. Oh, yeah. What if I just command it to go somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we use the box, I'm sure that should be fine. I mean, I think we still need to move it through. So our can biggest thing is just... Can you probably morph can... it into something else? I don't have that spell. I just need magic to put it back. Yeah, I definitely do not have that spell. Uh, he would say, the cultists have stabilized it somehow. That it hasn't touched the ground yet and instantly made a volcano. So maybe you'll be able to deal with it with whatever they've got. What about what about the boxes that have over the shards? Uh, the, the the soul boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was trying not to say that, but yeah. Uh, he's a champion. He probably already knows. You already know that Teller's stealing souls, right? I have witnessed the meeting. Which is okay, why so, I didn't yeah. ask questions about you saying uh, you went into something about King Henry. You heard his voice yeah, while you were don't don't that that was not for you. Um, mm-hmm. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gonna die horribly. It's actually and Eldor won't let us change things. So anyway, uh, Eldor does that. Mm-hmm. Kind of a dick. Mm-hmm. He's probably watching us now saying that, and he didn't change it because we were supposed to call him a dick, which is fine. Probably. Probably. God, we can't even... I mean, if it also I mean, if it melts magic, what if it destroys the box? Well, the box turns into the portal. Hmm. I mean, what are we going to do? Kind of use, like, a grenade, throw the box as we press the button? How close is close proximity to this? In... Uh... Yeah, I wrote it down actually because it's sorry. Mm. <laughs> okay. Where'd you put it? Nothing can survive being within ten feet of it. It can liquefy steel at five feet. It liquefies mithril on touch. Mm. And uh, he would tell you that the only other time he knows of is um, the one that was thrown in the ocean. They got a mithril plate so thick it didn't have time to melt before they could get it to a transportation circle. And then another time, one was on the material plane, a gold dragon swallowed it, and then uh, teleported. It's the size of a grape, but has a large corona area effect. It's the size of a grape. Uh, like, it's off the ground, right? How high off the ground and how far away from other objects? I have not been able to get a good look at it. Uh, not much of anyone, really. Because, um, you know, I am only one man, powerful as I am, and my allies are many, but he motions to the civilians, they're not equipped for combat of this caliber. And even for my more powerful friends, and he motions to the, you know, dryads and stuff, it's, they are not known for their skills against wildfire. There are the people I could call, uh, Pelorians being the ones to deal with something this hot, but... He looks over to Stone Garden Mountain with uncertainties popping up there, hesitant to come to see what a back burner problem is. As the cultists have stabilized it for now, and its area of influence only affects this area and isn't spreading. But if it touches the ground, new volcano type stuff. Um, but I've been staying here because if they fumble it, and it is likely they will, because, you know, they're cultists and he shrugs and says the civilians would have time to escape if I could realize what was happening and there isn't many civilians to start with and so other than an absolute ecological disaster this isn't in the grand scheme of things more than a back problem back burner problem to everyone but me of course Mm. and uh, and to be fair they don't want it to touch the ground as much as we do but they uh, yeah, okay. they're trying to summon back some old red dragon mm. morons. Well, Bastion? Yes. Um, you can make uh, bags of holding, right? Yes. What happens if a bag of holding goes into another bag? <laughs> it creates a tear in the material plane that tears to the astral plane. How big is it? How big is it? 
I believe the vacuum is ten feet. It creates a ten foot by ten foot wide tear into reality. And then goes away, right? Yes. Do they? I thought so. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make Do they, it's a, like the, a bomb. Do they retain their power uh, if they are decimated? If it can't, can't be destroyed? Uh, no, the bags The bags will be gone. I can't. No, I can I'm, have saying, my I'm saying the, the, the beat itself. I ain't never heard of one being destroyed, but if you can think of a way, well, actually, don't experiment here on the material plane because that'll be a disaster, but. Fair enough, never mind. Would that be considered stone? Uh. It's called a hearthstone? I think it's more just the embodiment of fire. I don't know if it's Got actually it. a rock. So, shape of oh, stone, you want, really. You want the stone, don't you, Pale? No, I want to try and atomize it. Ah, uh, yeah. You do the bag thing. It's in my familiar in and my echo. If the familiar can get close enough. They cannot. <laughs> Here can my echo. Uh, to, to do all Flint's knowledge, that's, you know, he hasn't mm. been there. <laughs> Just shoot two arrows at it. <laughs> but then it's the astral plane problem. Yes. Not, not my circus, not my monkeys. And I don't have that good of aim, so I don't know if I can do that. Does the... Does the box... If we pre- The cubic gate... If we press the button, does it just stay open? I think it does. Yeah, it just opens a, it opens a gate to another plane. Uh, and is it attached to the box, or is it attached to a different area? Like, is it like a portal gun, mean? where I, like, point a finger, and it's like, hey, plane, uh, like, hold there. Yeah, let me pull the item real quick. Hear me out, though. I'm able to prepare a spell that would instantly teleport me back to a different location. All I'm saying is if I do get close enough to it to use the box, I can teleport back in time to have one of you bring me back to life if I die. If I'm not instantly burnt apart. Uh, it allows you to cast the gate spell. Uh, it lasts for, So it'd be a door open for one minute. You can make the opening 5 to 20 feet in diameter. One of us has to push it, and uh, not one that's made of metal to well, melt. So, well, great news is that the gates, it allows you to cast the gate spell, has a range of 60 feet, and the target is an unoccupied space you can see within range, so whatever they've got it in, uh, the, circle is a port- the portal is a circular opening, which you can make 5 to 20 feet in diameter. So we just make a really big hole, and then we just scoot the rock through there. Yeah, but someone has to get close enough to push it, and I volunteer myself. It's 60 feet da- away. How much damage would it do? Around? A lot. I'm sure to do more than enough, but I mean, uh, I'm sure if I prep well enough, I I can take a lot of damage. Re- I got resistance and I have more hit points. I have resistance and I'm made of fire. You can also get like a really long golf club. Can't we I'm just sure it works shoot mess. at it? <laughs> Uh, I think if we shoot it, we risk um, knocking it down and then causing a volcano. True. Yeah, I'll throw I'll throw my uh, ring of warmth on. That's going to do the opposite. We had a ring of cold, maybe. Oh, the ring of warmth allows you to... Uh, it, it keeps you from getting cold, but also allows you to stay at a cool, comfortable temperature. Or wait, would it destroy a purely magic conjuration? What's uh, like like it would end a spell? It wouldn't end a spell effect, but like let's say Carolina, if you were to have a ring of warmth on and then touch it with your hands, the ring of warmth would melt along with your hands. But like if my spirit guardians, if my spirit guardians were around it, would it destroy Uh, them? Do spirit guardians don't have hit points? So no. So, guys, my spirit weapon is a skull. Maybe you can just kind of put it in its mouth and carry it through the portal. <laughs> I think Maybe that in works. Arcana check. Breaker. An Arcana uh, check, for sure. Uh, right now, or at the no, portal? No, 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 try no, no. Then, then. Okay, yeah. Shit, guys, I'm just saying, if we could spicy Drawbreaker this, 
patent pending on that I'm for done. spicy jawbreaker. Yeah, let's try spicy jawbreaker it. And yeah. hey, um, sir, if we did this and we succeeded, would you be willing to come with us? I don't think, or come with you to go do Umberly stuff, or come with you to... Yeah, Umberly stuff. Uh, come on, quick trip 20 minutes there and back. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh, uh, shit. I'm giving a thumbs up. <laughs> Give him advantage. Nice devilish smile. <laughs> so I've never lied in my life. Dis- disadvantage, yes. Oh, man. Please be a 20. <laughs> Damn it, that's a 6. Out of 5. Oh, out of 5, so that's an 11. Is this, we'll talk after you do this, and he looks Dolly at you very seriously, and he says, if you can do this, which would be a great personal favor to me, <laughs> uh, if you can do this, and then not steal a single copper of what's left of Emborium's hoard. I will know that you are trustworthy and strong enough to protect the fe- the, the flute of Pan and return it to me afterwards. See, I don't even like stealing. And neither does Carolina. You won't steal any copper. Or oh. anything else of value. I, I'm testing your honor. Are. Here's what I'm talking about. Listen, as someone who was raised in the beliefs of Tear, I will do my best to keep them on their best behavior. He looks you really close, Pale, as he got a dirty 20 on his insight check, and he goes, I don't like you, but my condolences. I. How are you not yeah. freaking out right now? Listen, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm going to kind of pull him aside and say, Oh, right, you're out of time. I told you. Yeah, Iltor. Uh, yeah. He direct. Uh, apparently, he killed us about eight times when we tried to change this. We tried and failed over and over. And I've killed, in different versions, I've killed Glamora Lestern. And he still stopped us. So, I'm not yeah, doing another, well. That's that's another thing about me helping you to go talk to Umberly is that, like, you know, Glamora Lestern died, looks at his watch. <laughs> Six hours ago, there's gonna be like if I didn't have, uh, for for various reasons, I knew about that beforehand, so I'm not so shocked. And I'm kind of just also doing druid stuff to not pay attention to that. The the, mm-hmm. the politics that are changing right now. I I need to be at home. <laughs> I see. I kind of like look him and say, <laughs> the things that are about to happen that you haven't seen yet, my friend. Oh man. Carolina, yeah. after thorough, like, Emborium, thorough Emborium's thought. Emborium's my friend now. Yeah. Carolina, after a thorough thought process, I drop my disguise and fine, I won't steal anything. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. What are you defining as value? Bastion, you're supposed to be better than this. Your dad created no, everything. Why I'm, do you ju- I'm just saying, I think that if I could better put use materials that would have gone to a red dragon, I don't think that it would be a bad thing. He, he's our ally. Mm. That is a good point. And uh, to that end, because I don't even know what they expect Emborium to do if he were to return. The oh, locals he's, left he's him alone, friend. and you've said that, and I don't understand it, but okay. Oh, we met I brought his, uh, I, I saved his wife's soul, uh, or lover's soul, I don't know if they get married, his lover's soul after her uh, young were murdered by an adventuring group. I saved her soul from death and gave it to him so he could give her a new body. So he's thankful to us and will fight in the coming wars. So that's what Tiamat's up to. Okay. What? He looks at you and goes, Emborium's a very old, powerful, chromatic dragon. I should have um, seen that coming. Y- yeah. I'm not very bright sometimes, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, he told you straight up he was going to go take Adkadamit to go to to you, Matt, to possibly resurrect her. So I'm a silly goose sometimes. It's just how pale I'm the, No, I'm this the dragon. Is, uh, hang on, this is a calculated move. This uses Tiamat's resources. Yeah, but maybe yeah. Tiamat's not that bad. Yeah, and we if he could. is, I pull out I pull out the Dragon Slayer Greatsword if he is. Mm. I mean... Mm. And back when Emborium lived here, is he left because the cultists kept bothering him. Which I don't expect. I don't know what they expect him to do when they 
try to summon him back here, because he's just going to probably eat half of them. And... Because the locals left him alone and rode off the, like, two cows he'd steal every month for, you know, as a price for keeping out anything nastier, so... Um, he's, just a, to he's just a little, uh, little silly. Sure. A little silly goose. So, yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's go and do this. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um... But he would, uh, to your question about uh, taking valuables, he says, I know that you could, you guys are probably good people. I've heard you mentioned, you know, by the gods you follow in a dream. Uh, is it's not, not fun to have. But anyway, um, uh, I know you guys are, but this is, I need your honesty to guarantee that I will, you will give me this flute back when you're done with it. <laughs> That's what I need I from you. I can't play with them. I don't have lungs to breathe. I will brutally, brutally deal with anyone who tries to take it from us. Uh, that is an absolute promise. And you can check me up and down to see if I, I don't bother lying with things of seriousness. Unless you're Florian, which you clearly aren't. So He shrugs, and he's like, if you survive, I'll see you here. If you don't, and the hearthstone drops, then I will evacuate the civilians. Good luck. Fair enough. I respect that. Are we going to go try it now? It's up to you. Boys? Uh -huh. I can't play I'm ready. So I let's can play go, it. Uh, open I just don't know how. I just don't know Listen, how. We well. have Jameson to play it. Yes! So let's go and uh, spicy, uh, spicy drawbreaker this. Can he play? Can he cast Polymorph? Who? Jameson. Uh, let me look at his character sheet. I don't know if we can polymorph the very essence of the sun. It has to be a creature, so he'd have to cast, like, animate object and then polymorph. Um, uh, he does not have any of those. Oh. He has fucking reincarnate, though. That's whack. Hey, look at nice. He can bring me back. Yeah. Are you sure he doesn't worship uh, Vivian? Have you asked him? No. That's... Wait, reincarnate is... That would be so funny. What? If I die doing this, I come back as a different race, but I still talk about being... You Genasi. still think you're a Genasi and then you don't? Yeah. Genasi is not one of the applicable races to come back as. I, yeah, you come back as a tea flake. I think it's no. just, oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Or even better, an elf. Uh-huh, a knife here. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be a tea flake. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> I think that spell was written before they expanded the... Um, Raceless. It makes it so, so much better, it. though. Yeah, that would be that would be funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he he died, but then he came back. But they didn't use any of the normal ways, so he he came back as as a gnome. Yeah, but he still uses an eco wallet. It, it's That's way too big for his little hands. When you were talking about this. <laughs> When you were talking about resurrecting Ash, I'm like, if he came back as a gnome or a halfling, I think he'd just blow his brains out. It's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no way. Listen, it doesn't it say that you can only do it once. It doesn't say you can only do it once. True. True. But we it is harder to come back from the dead every time you... Uh, listen, hey, listen. He's just lose some brain cells. Mm -hmm. Just lose some brain cells, that's all. Ash <laughs> will come back as a dryad. Oh, I mean, I'm fine with that. Mm. <laughs> That's the only dry. Nope. I have to go. Get, I have to go get a book for this. Hang on. Ew. So uh, did you hear about Bailey's Critical away. Role's? Did you hear about oh, Critical Role's new game system? Not what they do. Daggerheart. It's a D12 mm. system. A uh, 2D12 system. Yeah, that sounds like 40k with more complicated. That's Both just are. not natural. Yeah, so, so no natural. one sh the detail uh, should be removed. 
Yeah, they got it's a two D twelve system. It's actually got a hope and fear system. So like when you're going to attack something, you roll the two D twelve. One D twelve is for hope. One D twelve is for uh, fear. And whichever one rolls higher, you're either afraid of what you're going after, or you you're hopeful that you're gonna you know do well. <laughs> what if I just can't feel fear? Can I just move that dice? Um, I took that part it, of my it, brain out. Yeah, but it, it's just. It's the hope and fear of the group. Mm. Like, and you only got like six hit points. I just simply wouldn't die. Yeah, you got like six hit hit points. There's no armor class. So it's what Call of Cthulhu meets 40k meets. It just seems messy. Yeah, um, and then for your core stats, they give you you got four points to put in. To six stats, and you can take away stats as well. So, like, you can have two points in strength, two points in agility, and then take away a point of intelligence to add it into. I forgot what the other three stats were, but you could take away a point to add a point to another one. So, you have a negative one and a one in another stat. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with 5e. I just simply wouldn't, uh, lose. <laughs> Listen, I've lost too many characters. I'm just built different. You sorry, not that. sorry. I'm min men. <laughs> We're not the same. Yeah, I'm mid mid. One of us doesn't have characters that die. Okay. I'm mid mid. Uh, do y'all see my big ass cool map here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Crazy goddamn lines. Yes. So. You could survey this area. Um, is this a quarry or is this like a top down? This is a top down. The black is underground, green is surface level, and red is the inter inner chamber. Okay, so this isn't a cave. And then brown is uh, elevation lines. So yes, it is a big mountain. Damn it. They would tell you even that this is called Black Mountain. Because uh, it's oh. been scorched by, you know, a thousand years of Emporium living here. A thousand years of pain. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. All right, so, yeah, let's uh, hike on up. Or, Bastion, if you can fly us up. Uh, okay. How long has it been? Is how do you answer? Um, you guys could wait however long you want to if you want to recharge spell slots. Um, but... There are two camps on the outside. Those are where those big green circles are. Uh, but then there are little trails around. Maybe you could see tracks of people going around here to look. I don't know how deep you guys look. But yes. Uh, the There is one entrance up here at the very center of the map that you could go down into. It's like a vent. There are also... The green... Can you guys hear me? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. The green circles are entrances from the outside of the mountain. The red circles are entrances into the inner chamber. But based on asking Diwali Flint, uh, he'd be able to tell you the rough layout of these. Oh, do we want to just go to one of the camps and head up there in the morning? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a camp full of cultists. Ah, that's fine. We got a great track record. Oh. Yeah, with some cultists. My cultists. Yeah. Some dragon cultists. After I joined them. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Okay. Um, do, do you go to the camp entrance tonight, or do you go to um, them in the morning? Hmm. T tonight. It's the worst I could have. A bold question, but sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll change the map really quick. <laughs> yeah, you see this this green line? Don't worry about the, the top half of this. The bottom half is what you're worried about. Uh, how do you guys approach? Very aggressively. Uh, oh? I punch through the mountain. <laughs> I just waltz up like, hey, hey guys. Okay. The first person you see... Uh, I would say, actually, the 
pull up their goddamn stat sheet, sorry. I try to look as least as uh, uh, feminine as I can. Okay, so you're strutting your stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see if they see you guys for. Hey, boys. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you see a person who's obviously very roguish. Look like they haven't seen the sun in months. They walk out and they are obviously wearing Tiamat regalia. They have a pendant on their necklace that has a color for every chromatic dragon in fake scales. They would not wear real scales. Are you kidding me? That's sacrilegious. They approach I you. Light. I put my cutter away. Okay. Smart. I am a weapon. Light light cutter's got fucking Academy's fucking scales on it. Oh right, <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> kind of awkward. Don't want to insult the dragon cultists with a dead dragon. They just happen to be emerald colored and shaped like a scale, but they're not, we swear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> they're just really ornate. Uh, I'm an artificer, well. I made them look like that. Mm-hmm. It's purely by vibes. But, but a blonde elf who's, um, he's not being aggressive, but you can get the idea is that because he doesn't think that he needs to be. And there are other lesser cultists around that they're like capes and stuff are shaped like dragon wings. Like, they're very, very into the aesthetic because this has almost become like a temple as they're trying to summon Emborium back to his old horde. Nice! We just saw him! (laughs) Hey, 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 do you guys know em- Emborium? <laughs> he doesn't say I, anything. I, I tell it's him a, he really needs some sun, man. It, it's my, obvious that he heard you, but he doesn't say anything. <laughs> my my dad used to work for him, and I just wanted to see if you guys knew him, because I heard it, it looks like you guys like dragons. And yeah, my, my dad used to work for him. He recently went back home to my mom, but yeah. Got that pension. Mm-hmm. My dude, like, I, I know you're kind of roguish and everything, but you're bright, man. Let me tell you some some things about hiding. Man. You gotta be you gotta be a little bit darker. You're I'm not I trying feel. to hide. What is your Oh business? I know you're I know you're not trying to hide right now. I'm just saying, you know, if trying to help you know trying to help you out with some, you know, some tactics if you ever want to try to blend in. You we saw you as you entered touch. town. Oh, I wasn't trying oh, to hide. Want. Oh, honey, um, I wasn't trying to hide. Well, I I just want to see if we can camp here tonight. You were perfectly able to camp in town. Yeah, but we're going to just try and deal with some stuff later. I Listen, can I be real with you guys? Mm-hmm. I'm a Mercury and they don't like me. No one likes you. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling. It's true. I, rude. This is my friend who also doesn't like me, but uh, I, I know no one likes me. I Fashion mean, he's style. not telling any lies, but I like to do. We but have a delicate operation here. We don't we want to miss anything? that. We legitimately just want to sleep here. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. And someone roll for me. I'm currently away from computer. It's just what I, I you got roll you. minus, I got minus you. one. Thank you. That's a two. <laughs> so, well. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you flatly and says, no. All right. Can we at least keep going then and just pass through? Yes. Hey. Please get yeah. out. Right. Let's go. You're really, you really going to turn us away? Yes. You have no business here. Oh, we've got a lot of business here. We got business oh, What here. is it? With your, uh, no. Uh, okay. It's he has a perfectly talk. pleasant tone of voice, but he's glaring at you. Like unless that glare is for sexual frustration, you should turn it away. It's, no, there's there's other frustration there. It's it's not sexual. It's, <laughs> he's just really pent. Oh, I, I I said that to him. <laughs> oh, he said it out loud. God. Yeah. Just no. Oh. Then you it's have no need to be staring at me like that. Mm. There are 
let me just say, a great deal of people here who would agree with me in not wanting you here. And I have no As problem with I that. Said, we should leave. Delicate business. Uh, so you guys don't know him, though? Like, honestly, if you need a direct line, I am a personal friend of his, but we can yeah. leave. If you don't want to talk to him, bore him, that's fine. We've spoken to him. My dad, Renfalier, used to work for him. But we'll leave, though. Yeah. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage again. Let can me, someone uh, yeah. rehelp? He, oh, he's our I ally. Got no, let me redeem myself. I got you this time. <laughs> if you don't redeem yourself now, that's it's so much it. worse. Okay, see? There we go. You got a 10. I, I'm adding 5 to that. Fuck it. Okay. Friendship. Uh, so it's a 16. Rock. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Are you finally insisting that you know Emborium again? He's like, and okay. Well, I haven't he mentioned her yet. He doesn't know who Akadamid is, but... She's this... an uncultured swine. We uh -huh. know dragons. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know Emborium? Yeah. He, we actually did a favor for him. him. I mean, I can message him. Uh, I don't know if he'll respond. He's a little grumpy uh, last time I saw him, but he was having a bad day. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I even his wife died. We, we actually saved her soul though, so he's going to Tiamat to try and bring her back. Love her wife. I don't know if he gets married. I I don't want to, you know, speak out of turn mate. about him. Yeah, mate, that's it. Exactly, matey. <laughs> Yar. Uh, um. Huh. <clears throat> Says, could you ask him? If he's been hearing us, I was gonna do Actually, a little. You know what? Why don't you come with me? Uh, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Um, as long as my friends can come, because last time I went alone somewhere, my god abandoned me. So, oh. huh. he he kind of blinks a bit at what the, f but um, my name is Born Gray. Let me take you to Severin. So, like you were born. Looking like this, and they need it. Is, it is a name. <laughs> What's y'all? Uh, okay, I mean, yeah. As as I, he lets his guard, as he lets his guard down, I take my echo away from uh, behind him. It, he's not letting his guard down. He's just leading you some some whatever. Uh, uh, after I made fun of his name, I was like, "Well, now I feel silly with my name." It's he's, I'm he's still totally ready to kill you guys at a moment's notice, or try to. Okay. Uh, okay, after, he well, stops, feel... uh, after he stops posturing and wants okay. to let us in. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, my name's Kale. I realize how ironic that is. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's pale. Uh, uh, <laughs> you mean Born Gray's pale? Oh god, what was I? Uh, uh, oh god. What map am I on? There's too many goddamn maps in here. Um, I'm almost there. Okay, now I found it. Uh, he leads you inside Black Mountain through a series of tunnels into what appears to be... I just put beds in here. That's not actually totally beds. There's, like, tables also. Uh, but uh, you you would go to... Let uh, make sure I am actually on... All right, great. Yeah. You would go past uh, a great deal of fire giants. You see guard drakes, which are like big ass lizards. Uh, you see creatures of all kinds that are like desert animals, like giant poisonous snakes and fire beetles, and uh, you know a couple of axe beak and all sorts of dragon cultists. Uh, you even see a couple of wizards. And this cave itself is not, like, well shaken out. Like, you probably even walk past a rattlesnake. It's not great. But uh, Mr. Porn Gray will take you to a, a table where someone is... Uh, and it's really hot in here, also. Like, I mean, really hot. Those of you who can sweat are sweating bullets. And the others of you, you can... You are so close to overheating that it's not even funny. But you see, they even have wyvern around here, like, at the top of this mountain or whatever. It's, it's this is an operation. Uh, there's probably the one or two hundred peons around, and then a couple of actually bigger guys. But uh, it, it's it's quite the thing. And you, I glare, I glare at the wyverns. 
Okay. <laughs> I gotta get myself some uh, cooling packs. Yeah. So we're eating business is pissing me off. Get you a water yeah, cooler. Man. Yeah, I can make this bitch water cool. Give me some yeah, uh, Everfrost or something. Man, the Wyvern's got beef. If, if from when they like bitch your Killed ass me, in, yeah. in Thunder Scrim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you walk up to uh, this this room and they sit you at a table that's not on the map, but it's in. It's Don't, don't worry about that. Um, but it is very hot and everyone is very sweaty. Glistening, you might even say. Uh, it's, it's not great, but it's it's what it is. Um, and you hear a great deal of... Folium. Folium's not here. <laughs> you left him in town, unless you went back to go get all of them, but... Yeah, these, these chuckle folks. And... So you're in the southeast quadrant, so... Uh, you'd be able to feel the most heat is coming from your, like, northwest. But he led you around to... Or we don't even really need to see this map yet. That's why it's being so hard for me to describe shit to you. So you, you're, you're like, right here. Do you see it? He just took you, like, directly below the camp you went to. You try a table. Sitting there is a person in white robes, flowing, majestic. Every, like, button is in the shape of a claw. It's a dwarven man, and he has a really greasy beard right now, just because he's, like, sweaty as fuck. But he is currently talking to someone on a stone of far speech, but when Born Grey walks in, he looks at you weirdos, as we've discussed that you are weirdos, and looks you up and down, like, who the fuck is this? And Born Grey would, uh, explain, they know Emborium, apparently. Yeah, it's my... Dad's old boss. I I don't get why you guys are so like surprised by this. He employs people. And Not to be rude, but like you know. Person, Severin walks up and he goes, "Who are you?" Me. Yes. Pale. Pale who? Palin. Pale Palin. I <laughs> you haven't heard of me. I'm kidding. No one's heard of me. I'm really not that special. Unless you're a follower of Pierre or Mercool or Pelor or Umbrelly. Honestly, I make a lot of problems for gods. Anyway, you're saying. Blinks a little more. My name is Severin. Uh, High Cleric of Tiamat. I just just go to shake his hand and then kind of pull back. Can I shake your hand? I like meeting other clerics. Sure. And he shakes your hand. And... um, and, and you feel that his his hand is even hotter than the outside is, which is weird because you're also hotter than the outside is. Um, you, you boys. That, though, though he's a dwarf, he has some kind of uh, inner flame, as it were. And but he's we've been oh my god, I just okay. We've been trying to contact and bore him about, about his car's extended warranty. <laughs> no, but. Uh, <laughs> Emborium is a power that, uh, or I don't know, I, since I haven't come up with voices, I didn't think we'd get here today for some reason. I don't know uh, why. There wasn't anything in between here, but um, so I haven't thought about it enough. But yeah, Severin, Severin goes, I'll just give him a normal voice. We haven't had a normal voice person in a while. We've been trying to bring Emborium back to the material plane because this is where he belongs. This is his original horde. What do you mean you can just call him? Uh, I've met him. Uh, I spoke with him in the fire plane. Like I said, my dad used to work for him. Uh, there was a whole discussion, trying to work some things out so that my dad could, you know, leave his employee, go back home to my mom. You know, they're, they're getting older. You know, it's tough seeing parents age. And especially while they're still working. So it was really just trying to work out a worker agreement. I met him. I um, There was another dragon, green dragon. She was actually very kind to me. I was was with her for a very long period. Akamata, Akamata, Akam Takam. Uh, her. I'm, I'm kind of and, Sure. <laughs> and um, we actually shared a body for a bit. I brought her soul to Emborium so that he could bring her to Tiamat and get her a new body. So we have a mutual agreement to um, stay in contact. And are you for helping us bringing him back here? Because that's our real mission, is to make this place a paradise for... Uh, who we see as an important person in our religion. 
Uh, I'm going to kind of look at him and be like, listen, can you empty the room a little bit? I don't know how many people are allowed to hear and I'm about to say next. Uh, it's just him, Born Gray, and you guys. Okay. I'm going to say, listen. I'm going to ask him about half and they stop because he's already going to be coming back soon. That was part of our agreement. So it's worked. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. I, I, I guess, but we, we spoke with him last. He is willing to come back. Uh, I don't know the exact time. It is soon. It's praise be. Praise be the all mother. He's coming exactly. back. And then born gray and, uh, uh, Severin look extremely excited. But he has given us some specific direction with things that we can't really go into. But yes, he is going to be coming back soon. And they kind of mumble to each other. It's like, this is great with the stability of the artifact. It's, 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 and you have contact with him. Like, you can send message to him right now. It's, that's the uh, so hard about we can't survive. He might not, him. might not mm-hmm. respond, but I have the ability to. Could you please tell him to, or please ask what he wants done in preparation of his arrival? I mean, praise be. We want this to be perfect for him when he comes back. Yeah, I'm going to, um. That's what the, the artifact he's been trying to make it a more pleasing climate for uh, his grace oh he's not coming here no no he's going to oh my god what's where's King Henry Thunderscrum Thunderscrum. oh my god he's going to be going to Thunderscrum a red dragon as great as a condiment going to somewhere so far beyond the cold line I can't explain. I'm not allowed to explain that. There are there some were, agreements. There's so much wrong with that statement. There are agreements. Well, you can. He has. He has you take a seat, and he brings out uh, some fireball whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he says, "Please tell me everything." We have some large players coming. Stonkarel's been causing issues. I don't know if you were given privy to some of the rumblings going on, but... Let me see if he actually... Uh, uh-oh. No, he has no fucking have... idea. Does he have a watch? Uh, Born Grey has Do one. not steal his watch. <laughs> I'm staring at it. Okay. <laughs> and honestly, he's... So, like I said, he's not coming here. He's going to be going to Thunderscrim with some of the other power players who I'm not allowed to tell you about. So, they're going to meet up there, and our plan is to march on Sankarel. Of course. Emborium going to raid the biggest desert in all the world. We can even bring the artifact there later. Yeah, we can. And, like, they're whispering about... So, uh, so do you have the artifact stable? Yes. Yes, we do. Although we may... Uh, if he's already headed back to the material plane, we... Uh, it takes so much to, to keep it stable. We might as well put it back and then meet with, and like they're, they're, they're under the impress. Go ahead and roll me a D100, all three of you. Uh, give me one quick second to get back to my uh, computer. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no I got you, bro. <laughs> oh, you got I got you, bro. I'll roll for you. Thank you. Hey, uh, see? Yeah. Uh-huh. You, got a th- you got a three. <laughs> That's terrible. Here, hang on. I got a... I got I'm a three. You got a three. I'm rolling terribly via fashion. Let me let me roll one thing for them too. Oh, okay. Man. Let me do some math. Okay. They are under the impression that Emborium himself is going to go invade Song Torel and like take over the entire empire. And so their their idea is that they're going to keep it here to keep calling him back to his horde and know that they are taking care of it. Because they want, basically, they want Emborium's favor of like, oh, we're his favorite, and um, it just he, he, Listen. subs. I guess they have a dragon king. I don't know what their fucking deal. Oh, is. Jesus Christ! But but oh they're just obsessed God. with being uh, servants to dragons because they see dragons as the higher supreme life forms, and they want Ew. to be turned into dragons themselves one day. Like that's their whole goal is to ascend to that perfection. That is being a dragon, and so they think that Emborium's going to go uh, with King Henry apparently to, which you know the 
the the mascot of Thunderscrum is Wyverns. So, mm. like, that it's there. <laughs> hmm? I was saying that, that worked out fortuitously. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they figured, like, uh, that they're going to keep the artifact, which is the Hearthstone, uh, <laughs> here to, I guess, because Emporium could feel it wherever it is. Like, he knows, mm-hmm. presumably, that they're doing stuff that he's just fucking ignoring them because he wants to be left the fuck alone. So they're very happy that you can contact Emborium, but they want you to message him to ask him what they want, what he wants done uh, in preparation for his arrival on the Material Plane. I'll message one of the fire giants or whoever was like directly outside. I'm not going to message him directly because that will get me killed. Or worse. Oh, one of the ones that works, it is Horde in the... Uh, like Apparently. one of the upper echelon ones, yeah. Yeah, okay. Roll me a d100. Because it has a 5% chance of not mm-hmm. going. I got you, bro. This is, it. This is the one. 21. <laughs> it's the funny number. It's 9 plus 10. <laughs> so it does send back. Uh, it does get to him. <laughs> hey, I have these, stup- I have, I have these cultists who are asking uh, what uh, Emborian wants. I... Uh, I think it's best if they just send this back to him because it should be part of his horde. Does he agree? Yeah, you you tell Emborium, hey, there's people in your old house. There's <laughs> what? Yeah, there's, they're trying to call you back. And he's like, oh, finally someone who can talk to them. Tell them to get the fuck off my lawn and take that rock back where they found it. So what he said was that he's appreciative of what you're doing, but he wishes for the artifact to be sent back to him. Oh, it'll give him strength in the fire plane before he comes here. That's incredible. That must be what it was. I I don't speak for him. I just relay what he said. I I cannot fathom him. Of course. Uh, All three of you roll me doing hundreds again. I got you. Ooh! Ooh! What the fuck? What the fuck? 100. Holy <laughs> shit. I rolled a 73, and then I rolled for you, Pale, and you rolled a 73, and then fucking Carolina rolls a 100. Yeah, so them sending the Hearthstone back goes fucking flawlessly. Let me show you the um the map. It's I just that it. fucking shrimple, baby. It's just that simple. Yeah, they even like let you watch the process of like this gargantuan, they're called a fire giant juggernaut. There are these these walls that you see for um, they have huge machines like spraying cooling. Or first of all, they walk you through. This used so to be the main the main horde chamber, and so they've moved most of the viables to other chambers. So they have like room to work in here, and around it is a big magic circle. It's basically it, Bastion. You can read the sign. It's just a heat shield. Uh, to keep whatever's in there in there and like there's big uh water pumps that they're spraying onto this thing to keep it from melting the walls and the floor you see these walls right here to block people as they move what appear to be big plates they're huge like three inch thick mithril and steel alloy plates that they are setting the apparatus of this thing which again is a lot of like woven inner parts of mithril of they're basically resting it on Mithra plates and then as they melt, catching it and then reforging them to make and so they're just constantly switching these plates so it doesn't melt through the floor. And that's what this forge over here is for. But as soon as uh, Severin and Born Grey, the two leaders of this operation, bring in here and they tell the giant of they go and get another person who's um, a very powerful wizard of some kind, his name's Asbara Joss and they get the rest of the cultists together and they have like a big prayer ceremony and Asbara Joss the wizard shakes everyone's hands and he seems to break it. He basically does the same thing that you guys did with the gate spell except for he does it directly on top of the thing and then immediately closes it. And But you can tell there's a lot more in between there. But the the big ball thing they had it encased in was basically all, the only thing making it not go through the floor is that made it levitate a little bit. And then they had shielding over everything that they were constantly replacing. But in a blink, it is gone. And you are sitting in this very dry, very hot chamber. And the hearthstone is gone infinitely easier than I, I should have expected you guys to pull some shit because you always do. However, it's just that fucking easy. It's just that fucking easy. Boys. 
You guys Where's can't talk to you. Head, baby? You can't you talk have to no people idea shit. what we're doing. Yeah. You're surprised oh, me again. Insane. Incredible. It's it's so uh, funny being the <laughs> like Bastion doesn't Dang talk a whole lot ever. Mm -hmm. I'm there. I'm the, I'm the I'm the brute force of this group, and nine times out of ten, it's just pale. And then sometimes Carolina being like, "What if we just came up with the most fucking bullshit excuse?" Ever? I mean, you keep telling and the truth work. is the thing. It's and then, that's the funniest part is that more often than not, we don't lie. Yeah, you guys just hey, tell them this straight is up. Is friends with this is just some <laughs> whack shit that happened to be a thing. And I keep expecting, like, let me look it up. Like, I sent Discord, I sent the XP list of shit I was going to make you. So we get all that, right? Whatever. Uh, basically, oh, I didn't tell you guys. Level up. What? Because I, no! I meant to tell you after What's you uh, faced off against uh, there's, there's fucking pudding. El Eldor Avarice. Eldor Avarice. And now, since you've evaded the Dragon Cultist. Blade Lord? Okay, yeah. why, is why is pudding 1100? Don't worry about it. Okay. How many black puddings were we gonna fight? A couple Enough. of them. A couple Enough. of them. Hang on. What C? <laughs> what oh fucking God. CR is black pudding? Would uh, you like to know? I might have missed on it. It's probably only a hundred, but then I typoed. Oh wait. It's better no, this way. It's only one. It's CR yeah. four. So no, that's that's an accurate amount. Oh, wait. I do have to pop out though because what the I. Fuck? My no usual worries. bullshit, but no this is amazing. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Hey, no problem. Another fantastic session, as always. Another fantastic that... session. I, it's so funny. I, I, you guys I are mid max just... fuck for combat, then you never fucking fight. I just, get, I just get to sit here and watch everyone else do their shit. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my uh, god. Yeah, wow. we are mid max as fuck for combat. <laughs> god, it's so funny. What the fuck do I even get at Artificer level 12? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't we think uh, we get anything. And none of us have any charisma. Yeah, we're all terrible just, at talking to people. You keep just telling <laughs> the truth, and then they are oh, telling you, and they keep telling that you guys are. You know, they know you're telling the truth. You're just saying it in a stupid fucking way. And so, <laughs> look at the maps. Like, I just want to show you the maps I made that are now useless. But here we go. That's Here's so funny. Big Mountain Northwest, Big Mountain North e or Black Mountain Northeast. And we have a uh, big mountain south, a uh, black. Do I just keep saying big mountain from New Vegas? Black mountain mm -hmm. southwest, uh, black mountain southeast. Black no, mountain you've got me, you've gotten those mixed up. Oh wait, no, no, it, it is. It's black mountain from New Vegas. I thought it was big mountain. Mm -mm. No. Hmm. Yeah, the Black Mountain is a location on Mahalia Way, so then this serves as a radio station for the state of Ubatotha. Uh, oh no no Ubatotha. no. I... I keep thinking of the one where the robots who keep talking about your finger penises are. That's what I keep. Oh, the Black Mountain um, is a real place, though. And now that I remember, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Think Dome, I think, is what it's called. Uh huh. The Think Tank. But the Think yeah, Tank's on the think tank. Big Mountain. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Do but I yeah, just this go full this map is history? from uh, a ticket from the Rise of Tiamat book. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's the same layout, but not XP rating as the Well of Dragons. Mm -hmm. Which, that's rated for level 15, which, mm -hmm. being that you guys are min-maxed, you're about there, so... Being yeah. 12s who are crazy. Oh, uh -huh. oh. So, yeah, here I am. You talked your way out of some shit again. Bloom Stalker, here I am. Wait, what? What? Bloom Stalker Ranger. At level 11... I got an ability called Spell Storing Item, and I had no idea. Uh, whenever oh, I finish no. a long rest, I can touch a simple or martial weapon or a spellcasting focus, and I can store a spell in it from a first or second level spell from the artificial spell list that requires an action to cast. I don't have to have it prepared. While holding the object, I can literally, every single weapon we have, I can store a first or second level spell, spell list in it for free. Holy there is shit. no requirement. Yeah. I did, wow, that's awesome. I'm so glad that I Can you only do did. one spell at a time, or is it every single time? Uh, it, the spell stays on the object until it's been used a number of time equal to twice your int mod. So you would get 10 uses of that spell. Holy shit. What the fuck? That seems wrong. But okay. Shield. Uh, War Tension Warp is one of those spells. Shield yeah, is a reaction. Shield. It's not an action. Still a spell. Blur is an action. 
Enhance ability, dark vision, continual flame, invisibility, lesser restoration, and you get 10 uses of it. That's nice. absolutely nuts. Wow, awesome. Yep. Now I can disappear in darkness. It's kind of redundant. This means, guys, we're yeah. done with part one of Odyssey. Holy fucking shit. And the other two, I intend on making go by much faster, because holy shit. Uh, I will say, uh, Baldur's Gate ends at level 12. I, oh, like, yeah? I'm literally sitting here being like, oh, cool, I'm level 12. That means that I can actually, like, min-max my build nice, now. And nice, then I nice, realize, nice, like, nice. oh, yeah, there is no NPC I can talk to that lets me respec all 12 levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask you what system do you have now? PC? PC, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard it was only on the PC and PlayStation 5, but I can't find it anywhere on the PlayStation. And I knew it it ended at level 12. Mm -hmm. Drill Ambusher, the thing I was going for, you can give yourself a bonus to your initiative roll equal to your wisdom mod modifier, which that's not very high. And at the start of each, or start of your first turn of each combat, your walking speed increases by 10 feet which lasts until the end of your turn. And if you take the attack action on that turn, you can make one additional weapon attack as part of that action. If that attack hits, the target takes an additional or an extra 1d8 damage of the weapon type. And I get dark vision out to 60 feet. If you already have it, it's, if the range increases by 30 feet, and you're adept at evading creatures that rely on dark vision. While in darkness, you are invisible to any creature that relies on dark vision to see you in that darkness. At will invisibility. That's pretty nuts. Sweet, I learned a spell. Ah, there's like a whole section of my notes that I can put into past notes. Beautiful. It's always good to cut and paste like four pages of bullshit. But this is how I intend to f plan big fights from now on, as I've realized that a lot of times if I give you the entire amount of XP that you can take in a day, like at once, you'd have to like fight God. But then if I give you a bunch of little... T like, it's similar to how we did the um, Golgory Prison break of if it's, if it's the XP for an entire adventuring day, but then there's theoretically nowhere for you to actually short rest in there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I actually wear you people down. Is long, drawn out ones where we just, hey, pretend like you guys can take a short rest here and it won't. <laughs> hmm. um, so this, I did the math earlier, I don't remember what the total is, but that's a adventuring day worth of XP that you can reasonably take care of. And you kept doing just well enough and well it's it's because you guys kept telling the truth yeah and then you got really lucky when it came time for them to believe you <laughs> hmm. really <I'm> like <laughs> or rather it's they they believed you because you were telling the truth but then the the rules to make them actually listen to you that's what i'd say was yeah do you guys want more, you know, just making you fight? Because I could have just said, no, they just kill you guys. I don't know if you guys want to fight more or if you're good with, like, how things have recently been going. I've been fine with how things have been going. Okay. I'm good either way, but, you know, Carolina likes to throw hands. I mean, but I like, I mean, I mean, Darian. What does Darian like to do? Well, Darian likes to throw hands, too. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm good with either one of them. Okay. So I will continue to um, let you guys talk your way out of shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's your imposing figures who are very... Um, I think half of it's just tail just blows them away with absolute whack shit that you guys are doing. And it's, it's true. And they... The last <laughs> two people you could have fought know just enough about it to let you explain yourself a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Diwali Flint thought that you guys were going to die, like, for sure. And Thanks, the DM, asshole. The DM had hope in you, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but he's going to be... He's going to be so um, psyched that you guys solved the problem that he's been working on for weeks in, like, two hours. 
Yeah, actually. That's really funny. And all these cultists are going to be um, heading to Thunderstrom to await uh, his arrival, so maybe they'll fight on your side. Who knows? They might. Or they might die before they before that ever happens. Uh, True. True. And some of them are probably going to stay here, and then Emborium's going to go, hey, uh, get the fuck out of my house. And, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Pale didn't say that part of the message, because they wouldn't yeah. have believed him. <laughs> they would not. That is true. Yeah, if yeah, because they don't, they don't know. They can't even conceive of Emborium wanting to be left alone. They're like, of course he wants to be worshipped. Of course. And he's like, I'd like to sleep in my pile of gold. Thanks. Yeah. And I'm Earth still. Man. It's it's still first level spells. So like the best spell I can get is Zephyr Strike, which is concentration. Hunter's Mark is concentration, unless we change that to damn. I don't actually do any good besides good berry would be fucking entangle. Entangles good. And sna- yeah, it, it concentration. Uh ensnaring strike. Like concentration for a melee fighter is not the best option. Yeah. It's gotta take warcaster. Yeah, uh, I need another level for that. Mm-hmm. But the, the only spell that I actually want for fucking my character is uh, Passing Out Trace. Yeah. Get somebody to teach it to you. You're already getting almost 30 stealth scores. You don't need Pass Without a Trace. I huh? said I can't cast I can't cast second level spells until I'm level 5 ranger. Hmm. Unless I'm allowed to learn it early. Or somebody puts it in a ring of spell sl- storing or something. Or just to my weapon. I don't know if it's an artificer spell. I don't think it is, otherwise you would have used it by now. What is? Pass without trace. No, it's not. It's a mm-hmm. ranger spell, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd have to get someone to teach it to you. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I guess I, like, I could get cure wounds. That's why I was never planning on being a spellcaster, Picking the spells. <laughs> fog cloud. I don't need fog cloud. I got a uh, ever smoking bottle. Or just you know eat some beans or something. Yeah. Oh, snare. A snare. Beer. I'm pretty sure if I casted snare anywhere, pale would get stuck in it. Hmm. Perhaps. Well, thank you guys for playing with me. Yeah, for sure. Congratulations on it's that. It's a lot of fun. I will see you folks later. For sure, yeah. See you around. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hey, it's your DM, Bailey Ford. I would like to thank our regular players, Darian, Matt, and Ian, Hip for our cover art, and Tabletop Audio for our background music. You can find us on Twitter at C. and thank you especially for listening.